Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of Bad North with me and Tori's BLT. Oh, boy. Ah, we've already done that one. Excellent. Let's try, let's try a new one. Oh, fuck. Uh... You know what? Why not? Let's try very hard. I don't care about the... F oh, I guess Philosopher's Stone is the only one that I got. I don't know what the heck Collector does. No trait. Collector. No trait. Okay, well, I guess we're going to go Collector then. Uh, heavy weapons and you can't get anything else, huh? Morton. So what I'm seeing here, you're going to become an archer. I, I apologize if my voice is a little uh, rough today. <laughs> I, <clears throat> If you don't know, I'm getting married. Um, in Jesus, what? Uh, it's like a little bit less than two weeks. I just had my bachelor party. And it was an uproarious time with lots of laughter. Oh, lo lots in laughter. Lots of laughter and uh, ridiculousness. And so my voice is a little little messed up this morning. Uh, th there was no... Jesus Christ. Holy shit. Um. Um. <laughs> this seems extremely bad. How does one survive such a thing? Kill, kill them, kill them all. Oh my lord, we actually lived. Holy fuck. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh alrighty. Let's let's take a look at your traits here, because I don't remember what the heck these do. Half price items. Okay. That's nice, but no. I don't think so. Uh, not right now, anyhow. Definitely want to hit Crow Island as fast as possible, because we need more units. Th this is going to be extremely difficult, I feel. Perhaps the best thing to do is actually uh, have like one unit kind of fight these guys as they come up. And then have them replenish while the other one goes and does the exact same thing. I don't know, man. I'm also kind of feeling like pikes might be one of the best choices to, to get as, our, as an early unit. Even though there may be archers that show up, which really would just be horrible. Um, okay, we're going to get hit from two sides. This is extremely unfortunate. Let's actually put you up here for now. Because I don't know how these guys are going to do their thing. They might just... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. No, you, you gotta come down here. Fuck, we're getting hosed, man. I might have to, like, immediately restart this island. Dude, kill them. Holy fuck. Nope, you... I, I think we're dead. Yeah, I think that's a big fat restart, man. Holy shit. Very hard is exactly as it says on the tin. Yeah, definitely restart that. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, did I even have a choice as to... No, I don't have a choice as to where to go. Uh, I don't know how else to handle this. Oh, wait, there's... I feel like we kind of do better when we hit them from two sides at the same time. It sucks because we're losing units from both. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. I forgot about the stun. Shit. Get him. Get him. No, kill him, please. Kill them! Good lord. Attack. Destroy them. Kill. Maim. Destroy. Jesus. Okay. Go. You're gonna get overwhelmed. Get out. Oh, fuck. Yeah, um... I'm kind of starting to feel like, perhaps, I shouldn't be going into very hard until we have more starting options. Yeah. I'm kind of feeling like we definitely, yeah, I think we have to, I think we should go to hard. Try to do as much of that as possible to get, like, some different starting commanders and stuff like that. Or some different starting skills. Because we also don't know what all the starting skills are yet. I don't think. So let's do a new campaign. Instead of very hard, let's do just hard. So we got Varney, and we got Yunter. I love that name, dude. Okay. Yunter, you're definitely going to be an archer. The thing about the starting Philosopher's Stone is that it's a little funky, right? We don't know exact... Excuse me? We don't know exactly, like, it, I feel like it pushes us into wanting to put a, a to, to have, like, a different starting unit, or not starting unit, but a different unit to start off. Because, like, for the heavy weapons, we definitely want that to be archers, because the pushback is just so good. For the, who's going to land, okay, no, I think you're probably going to land first, although you're going pretty goddamn fast. God, there's a lot of you. Jesus. Got enough dudes? I think we make it out of this. Wait, two, three, four. Oh, fuck. I'm not going to have enough. I, for, for some reason, I counted this as three. Um, I was thinking we might actually have enough to uh, to do an upgrade. Right off the bat, but that's not the case. Fuck. I got knocked over because I got too impatient and ran right into the freaking boat. Excellent. I, I do think that having a Philosopher's Stone early on is nice, though, because it does allow... <sighs> what is the upgrade here? By one per island. <sighs> that is likely to be useful early on. The problem is I don't want to mess up our ability to have an upgraded unit just yet. I would like to either have archers or pikes, I think. Alright, so the only way up here is through here. Everything else is butts. Okay. Is there a second? Okay, there's no secondary way up. They have, they have to come up this way. Alright, so deploy... So I know I mentioned the bachelor party. I just want to get this out of the way. Uh, I'm not the kind of person that likes to go to um, gentlemen's clubs. I don't really find that they have a draw for me because I am already with somebody. So like, why? <laughs> I, if that makes sense, I don't know. Like, some people love to go to those places. I, I'm not so much about that. Uh, charge them. Kill them. Kill. Maim. Destroy. Okay, green, you're probably going to have to replan, like, right now. Yeah, don't don't get caught. Just stay up there. 
We basically, like, so, overview of what I did for my bachelor party. I, I had a shit ton of fun. Um, we went and uh, did some axe throwing. And, oh, shit. Uh, retreat up here, because hopefully they will pop. Okay. You guys come here. You. Replenish. Uh, and then we went to my friend's house and played D&D, and it was great. And if you're like, what the hell is D&D? I encourage you to look up what the heck Dungeons & Dragons is, because it is wonderful and fantastic. Probably one of the easiest ways to, to find out what D&D is all about, go and watch a show called Critical Role. If you don't know what that is, it, it's like probably one of the most... I think it's actually one of the most popular streaming shows on the planet right now, I think. Alright, so... My thought is, I make you archers right now. And if we go here, we immediately get another unit. But we're also probably going to be fighting archers, which really sucks. Uh, shit. Hang on a second. If we go... Okay, so... We gotta do... Wait, no. Do we have to do next turn? No. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, we go. One. He covers this. Two. Covers this. Three. He covers this. We can't get there. If we go one, he covers this. Two. He covers this. Three. Covers this, and we can't get here. Right? Wait a minute. One here. Wait, okay, so one, two, three. I, we, we have to, we can't get one of these. And I think the better way to go, well, okay, here's the other thing. We have to go this way. So perhaps coming down here is the better idea. Or we could go like, well, no, I, if I want to get this, I have to come here like right now. I think we might as well hit... Wait, did I not upgrade you yet? Okay, I, I guess I haven't. I might as well come here. Oh, I definitely haven't because I have the nine gold. I should probably come here. And then bounce to here, here. To get as much money as possible. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make you archers. For, I think, fairly obvious... Re well, maybe not obvious reasons. I'm going to upgrade this. Okay, and then that's going to give us three if I upgrade it by five. Which So in three islands, this will make up for itself. And then in five islands, which makes that a total of eight islands, that'll make up for itself. We're going to hit... <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to hit plenty of islands on the way. So, I think we're going to go here. Next up is probably unit of sortie boys. Uh, I am happy to have a second unit of plain, like plain old sortie boys. And when I say unit of sorty boys, I mean like sword and board. Because we want to be able to deal with the archers as well as we can. Okay, you come over here and make with the shoots. You guys... Ah! <laughs> God damn it. You guys come over here and back some people up, okay? No, what? Get over here. Oh, shit, no! Fuck! Okay, um... Oh god, you're just awful at shooting. Shit. Okay, so maybe actually unit of pikes is our, our next uh next thing that we're gonna get. Yes! Okay. Cause if they have shieldy shieldy dudes, I think pikes are our our best bet. For the next major unit to, to obtain. Excellent. That knockback, though, is just so delicious. It's so good. Oh, let's go. That was amazing. Okay. I think you should be able to handle this, this boat after the... 
Yeah, after the archers lay waste to... Uh, never mind. Okay. You can definitely handle that boat, because there's nobody in it. Don't let them go up the hill. Just, just eat them before they go up there. Oh, that was just... Mwah, chef's kiss. It was so good. When I, when I was saying that this would make up for itself in... Ooh, you have popular. Um, when I was saying this would make up for itself, what I was meaning is the, the expenditure of money is going to make up for itself in three islands. Although I suppose you could say that it would make up for itself in like one and a half. But, uh... Oh, we can already upgrade. Um... A slightly larger unit of guys... I think lends itself more to sword and board. I am... I'm thinking I'm going to make you pikes. And then for the next unit, we're going to go sword and board. Okay. So we want to go... If we want all the money we can get, we want to go here, here. Just, we can't get to the, the Turtle Island, which is unfortunate. I would have loved to, but we just couldn't go fast enough. Let's take a look at this island and see what it really looks like. You know what I'm saying? I think you do. Okay. Th this is not a bad island. If if uh, we have Carls coming in over here, we can just pop the pikes up on the hill, and they should be fine. Everything else is is no big deal. This is This is the big unit, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, Glenn, Glenn's got the Glenn's got the big unit. You actually look like somebody I knew named Glenn. Strangely enough. Okay, I don't know exactly where you're gonna land. I'm guessing you're gonna land rough. Okay, there's two units coming in. Actually, you're gonna. Okay, yeah. If I put you there, you'll be fine. It, it, as prophesied, they are coming. Okay. I want you to stand up here and shoot at them as much as you can. I, I don't think it's going to help us that much. Well, actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, the pikes can take care of that. Why don't you come over here-ish and shoot them off the sides? Yeah, come up here and get poked to death. Roughly there is probably the best position, maybe. I, I don't know, well, let's move you over here. That way you get a little bit more of a side shot, I guess. Yeah, fight the pikes. Man, it really, like, there is such a huge difference between, like, it, just, like, your first unit of pikes and all future units of pikes. <laughs> it isn't like the, the more upgraded units. Because they are just so much more vicious. Okay. Glenn, I'm going to beef you up to infantry. And we're going to pass turn. Okay, for a second I thought I saw that there was another pathway here, and I was like, Th there can't be. <laughs> there actually can't be. Like, don't, don't, don't play that. That's not a thing. So we're going to get two, four, five, six. Which is going to be enough to upgrade the Philosopher's Stone. Which I think we should do, because we are going to be using these three units for quite some time. 
And I think our our big upgrade target is going to be the archers. Um, for a couple of reasons. Uh, one is we did everybody else last time. And I want to see how it goes to upgrading different things. And I know, like, Common Wisdom is, oh, upgrade the archers, they freaking murder everything now. Like, I don't care about that. Like, my, my whole thing is I want to play this game and enjoy myself. And part of the enjoyment for me is trying out new things. No, shoot, shoot these guys, please. No, no, shoot, shoot the, shoot the armor, shoot the unarmored scumbags that are coming. Kill him, so the archers can focus on the thing that actually matters, please. Okay. Uh, archers, come over here and start making them the shoots, dude. Okay. I believe that they are going to follow wherever the archers go. So I'm going to put the pikes in the way. No? Interesting. Okay. Come on, shoot him off the boat. Do it. Do it! Fuck, that's a big boat. Okay, where's that guy gonna land? Uh... Maybe go there? And that should be good, I think? Okay, you have lost a single guy. That's not a big deal, I don't think. Kill, kill the sortie boys. Good job. Dude, the Philosopher's Stone is so wonderful. Like, as a starting item, I can see some real applications. The only problem I, I think I see with it is that it doesn't lend to combat ability. It just, it's more of an investment in future combat ability, if that makes any sense. Okay, I could get you volley. And the plunge attack is debatably okay. Um, I think what we're going to do is spend the money on the, the Philosopher's Stone, and so it's going to give us... Wait a minute. Okay, provides three coins per... De uh, per wait, did it say per defeat? No, 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 no. For, uh, for Island Defended. That's the D word it used. Defended, not defeat. Okay. So we want to go... I forget how the hell this works. Eh, let's just go here. I, I, so... My thought is that we want to get as far ahead of the, the, the Viking Swarm as possible so we can have more room to maneuver. So we're not really forced into taking specific... Uh, not specific actions, but like going to specific places, if that makes sense. Okay, you're, you're just going to get piked, like, to death. Uh, I see Swordy Boys, or Sword and Shield Boys, coming. I think the archer should be able to handle that boat no problem before it even lands. Right? Please uh, don't make a liar out of me, dude. Get back the fuck up. Good job. Okay, now stand there. Didn't really have time to try to knock these dudes off their, their bits. I, I could have stood you over here, I guess, and that might have been better. Because you would have been able to rain fire upon them as they were coming. How do I want... I think I want you there. Yes! Back up. Very good. Okay, where are you coming from? You're going to hit this square right there. So I want you there. I want my pikeys to be here. You guys are going to trade spots right off the bat, basically. Well, okay, not basically. You're going to... Actually, the sorties should be here. The pikey should be here. Because you guys are going to trade over. I had to move the pikes in because I wanted them to be able to, to actually get into position first. As you know, otherwise they basically just wouldn't have been able to. 
Um, I think you guys can handle this. I want you guys over here to handle this wave as it comes in. It, it, that, that is provided the archers don't actually just massacre it before it hits. No, you know what? Move back. I, I'm not comfortable. Yeah, because uh, if, if you stood there for too long, you were going to get overwhelmed. Well, not overwhelmed, but you were going to get, you know, wrecked. Like, real bad. God, Philosopher's Stone is just delicious. It's basically like adding a large house to every single level. <coughs> and actually putting on a person that can upgrade stuff really, really fast, who can upgrade stuff really easy, I think is just, like, absolutely wonderful. Okay. So, I want to upgrade this. Next is going to go for the uh, the shoots here. Th this, this particular shoots. I think we definitely want to go, like... Bang, bang. We could go bang, bang. Well, I mean, this is going to give us six. We have one right now, which means that I will be able to get you volley, right? Yeah. Because we want to be able, blah, blah, blah. We want to be able to use our items as fast as we can. Or not our items, our... Uh, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Just ignore... Ignore my, my ridiculous brain. It doesn't know what it's talking about. Okay, there is a single way up, which should make this very easy to defend. Oh, archers. Just murder, 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 dude. Okay, m more shoots, please. Uh-huh. Keep going. Do not stop. Okay. It's mostly all right. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm just going to pop you right there for now. I'm not going to bother putting you all the way down because then you'll stop the shoot and that's just going to cause problems and we don't want that. I don't know if you're going to get any, any knockoffs here. Oh, actually, I probably should have put you over here to do the knockoff. Where would I put you to nail these guys? Actually, go there. Oh, you know what? Go back over here. Shoot, shoot these unarmored fools. Good job. You guys are going to just get slaughtered. Alright. Stand right there. Make with the shoots. Yeah, ever since the update, I feel like the and, and I don't know what the consensus of the community is, but I'm I'm pretty sure it's that archers are more powerful than they were before, which is still pretty freaking powerful. Um, because now they can do the whole thing where they knock dudes off of stuff, which is just incredible. Actually, I don't know if that's a good position for you. If like if the ledge was further over this way, I feel like it would be better, but it's not, so it isn't. Oh, nice shot, nice shot. Yeah, I don't think you guys are really hitting anything from over here, quite frankly. And, and that, that's fine, because the pikes are still doing their job. Like, you give these guys a hail to defend, and they're just good. Oh my god, it's so delicious. Oh, I don't know who I'm going to assign that to just yet. We shall see, we shall see. Because, uh, wait, you don't have an item yet, do you? No. I also don't know if this is the item I want to give you. But I do know I want to upgrade you with this. Because volley is wonderful. I can also see where having the skills for, like, uh, lower cost skill upgrades would also be really, really sick. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's do, like, one more island? So I believe we should be good to hit this island and this island. This is just shield dudes? <sighs> what does this island even look like? That's a lot of money. Three, six, seven, eight. And then because we got you, it's going to be 11? That's really good. 
This island doesn't look like it's going to be uh, a nice... No, this is going to be terrible. Because they got a way up right here. This is... I don't have to worry about that, but like right here is the real... Yeah. It seems like I'm going to have to... like We'll have to kind of choke point this if I come here. Alright, I think we're going to hit this island first. And if you're wondering why I have the, you know, ability to restart Alan's turned on, um, part of it is that I would, I actually, like, I want to have fun with this. I don't want it to be frustrating to watch either, you know, where people are, like, seeing, and it, when I say I don't want it to be frustrating to watch, I mean in a specific way. Like, I don't want it to be like, oh, you know, if you had done X, Y, Z, then you would have been able to survive this particular island, etc. and so on. I don't, like, it's not that that shit bothers me a lot, but, like, I don't want that to be a thing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's not have you murdering my people, please. Uh, I want to put you here-ish, I think, because that way the angle that they're coming in at, I think that'll make it a little easier for you to push them off. And then if you're here, that should be good, because then... These, we'll put you here just in case, but I, I think that they're going to run right into these guys. I may actually need you to come over here, though. Oh, hit him, hit him again. Oh, delicious. Absolutely delicious. Oh, you got him off the boat. Vundaba. Vundaba. Uh, why don't you come... Okay, you know what? You're gonna have to... Uh, Alright, he's dead. <laughs> Alright. I want you to come right there. Come on. Give him the boops. Alright. Excellent boop. Excellent boop. Now get back here. Oh my god, it's so ridiculous. Uh... The angle that you're coming in at, I don't know if it's really conducive to our shooting you off. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do... Where are you going to land? You're going to land here-ish. So perhaps putting pikeys there will work out. I don't even know if this is a good angle for you either. Well, apparently it is. That's a little close. Why don't you back it up? Sweet mother of God. Is he just hunkering down in the bushes? What's he doing? <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. Get super wrecked. Oh my lord. The, the amount of money you can make with this is absurd. Alright folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all did enjoy it. If you did, you know what to do. That is me for me, Notorious BLT. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will catch you all next time. Bye-bye, folks.